Hello everyone, my name is Niall. Um, I started isotretinoin, also known as Ruractine, uh, two weeks ago today. I wanted to make these sort of video series, diary of my journey throughout using isotretinoin uh, for my acne because everything I see on YouTube is very, very heavily edited with really cool lighting and really YouTube friendly and there's no one actually doing something for the UK um, which gives you kind of a very basic rundown of everything. Um, so this is what I look like on two weeks of isotretinoin. My skin's not too bad. I did have this spot here and there's been some spots here as well which have been quite painful. So I've been prescribed this. Um, like I say, it's also called Roactine, but I think that's the brand name. Um, this is just generic isotretinoin. My dose is take three capsules, 60 milligrams um, daily uh, for two months. And I have to take it with or just after food or a meal. Protect your skin from sunlight. Do not use sunbeds. Read the additional information given with this medicine. Because I've had mental health issues in the past, um, which is one of the big worries of starting isotretinoin for me. Uh, my dermatologist said, first two weeks on it, just take one capsule after food. So I'm, I've just been taking one capsule for the past, past two weeks. And then the next two weeks, take two ta um, capsules. So I'm gonna take two capsules for the next two weeks, starting tomorrow. And then after that, I take three weeks, uh, three capsules for, for the rest of however long I need to be on it, which I think is about two to four months. And my dermatologist wants to see me after two months being on it for like a little checkup. Now, um, when you start isotretinoin, uh, you have to do blood tests um, to make sure your liver is all good and other things like cholesterol, I think, you need to be, you need to have good cholesterol levels. Just because this leaflet on the inside with all the side effects, it's pretty scary. So they do blood tests on you um, before you start um, isotretinoin to make sure that you're healthy enough to, to do it physically. What surprised me is that um, you can't take vitamin A uh, supplements on top of isotretinoin because you'd be at risk of overdosing on vitamin A, I think. For women, you can't be pregnant on it as well. Yes, that that is that scared me, especially with like my anxiety and stuff, and previous mental health issues. Um, that's what's been putting me off trying it for so many years. But um, I've I've taken a plunge, and actually for the first two weeks, I've not noticed a, a major difference. I don't know whether that's because I'm on one capsule. Um, see how I feel in the next two weeks and I'll update you guys in the next two weeks. I'm also, I've also been prescribed um, this erythromycin tablets. Um, swallow whole, do not chew, do not take indigestion remedies at the same time of day as this medicine. Space doses evenly throughout the day. So this is an antibiotic. Um, and the reason why I'm on this as well is for the cystic acne that I get. I've, I've been doubled onto these two, okay? Um, this is an antibiotic and this is not an antibiotic. Isotretinoin is a retinoid. The effects that I've had um, being on isotretinoin for two weeks, one, ta one tablet, 120 milligram tablet for two weeks has been, uh, surprisingly quick so like dry lips that that started almost immediately going on to isotretinoin it only took like two or so days two to three days for my lips to start getting dry as if I was like I had a cold at winter time and then it's just 
it's not like really dry to the point of really cracked lips, but it's it's definitely dry where the skin, skin's sort of peeling. I've been putting Vaseline on. Vaseline really helps. I've also tried this Carmex lip therapy thing, which was all right, but it only lasted like an hour and then it's back to dryness, whereas Vaseline sort of helped last it for a couple of hours before it go, goes back to dry. You do have to regularly pop um, Vaseline on. Um, what else? Dry eyes. I'm a teacher, so I look at screens a lot as well when I'm lesson planning and looking at emails and all of that malarkey. This is um, July time, start of July, 7th of July. So I don't know whether it's hay fever, but I'm pretty sure it's, it's the isotretinoin because I've been told that it's one of the symptoms. Um, and then usually, I don't usually get hay fever and it's not as regular as this. The dry eyes is pretty much every day, every other day. So I would invest in eye drops as well before you start isotretinoin. I've been getting really sore, dry skin around my nose, here, around the side of my nose. And I did have a couple of um, spots coming up here, which have gone away now. But the first week, end of the first week, beginning of the second week, this is this was really sore, really raw, um, and some spots started coming up there. But I don't know whether that's the isotretinoin or just the acne, to be honest, because I've had that plenty of times before with just my acne. But I think the isotretinoin didn't help with that. I think it gets worse before it gets better. That's what everyone keeps saying. My back knee and my chest acne seems to be the same as it was. I don't have any major concerns. Any, I don't have any big pimples or anything on either of those uh, since I started isotretinoin. I don't know whether that's because of isotretinoin or whether it's just not my time to have pimples, but that's been nice so I don't have to sleep with like plasters all over myself like I usually have to, so it's not on my bed sheets or my clothes. But yeah, I have had to wear a plaster for this, but that, that came about before I started. So yeah, that's me on two weeks on isotretinoin um, and erythromycin. Um, if you've got any questions, let me know and I'll, I'll answer them and I'll, I'll do another two week update once I, I'm, I'm on the, the double, two, two tablets a day. Cool, all right, I hope this has been helpful to at least someone. Until next time.